here we have some basic algebra. Uh, you could use Desmos here. I don't think it is worth your time to do that. This is so much, uh, so basic that you need to know how to do this. Uh, and many of you could do this in your head, which is fine, but I really do think why not take a second to just write it on the paper and be sure, right? So 6n equals 12. Habit is probably going to kick over and you're going to start to solve for n. We have uh, 6 times n. What undoes multiplication? We're going to divide. And so we're going to get that n is equal to 2. But do not put that in, okay? Not just for this question, for any question that involves solving for x, solving for n, you always need to go back because they are purposely going to, in many cases, ask for something different from what you expect. This is a very classic SAT move. Your math teacher probably does not do this very often, but on the SAT, it comes up constantly. Even on questions that like this one, we should consider easy questions. They are not asking for x, they are not asking for n. They know that your habit is to solve for that, and then in your head you go, mission accomplished. But no, all we have to do is a very simple move, right? We plug our two in for n, two plus four is six, and that is the answer. But gosh, if you ever, ever, on any single practice test, miss something because you answer the question that you expect them to ask, instead of the question that they're actually asking, you need to burn that memory into your brain. The SAT is gonna do that again and again and again. And I do find that certain students are very prone to that mistake repeatedly. And that can cost you 20, 30, 40, 50 points per SAT. That is how often they do this. It should cost you zero points ever. So if you ever make that kind of mistake, then for the rest of your life, you need to make sure you go back and read the question and really have a good sense of what they want before you do that final step of just selecting an answer, okay? Before you move on to the next question, you've always got to reread, what did they want? Did I give them exactly what they want? Or I just give them what I thought they would want? Because that is a common trap that you cannot afford to make.